Hello, this is Edward Silva here, and today I'm going to be introducing a new series. And this series will be called America's View. Kind of an interesting one. Basically, um, this series is going to be about random talk, random topics that are happening around around here in New York or around the world mainly in the United States but basically it's going to be something random something that may have happened today may be happening as of recent and the reason why it's being called America's View is because I want you America's View on the topic that I present in this video in these videos now on today's topic <clears throat> I'm going to be discussing a little bit about the food vendor the food vendors cart pr problem that's happening here in New York City probably happening all, all around the United States but mainly here in New York City since this is the Big Apple now I've noticed in recent years that a lot of the carts that I've been seeing have either been illegal carts or food vendors not following the protocols that they're supposed to follow, which are also known as guidelines, to maintain healthy habits and to keep the public safe from any type of diseases or germs or or any type of contamination such as E. coli or any of that stuff. Now I'll probably link a this uh I'll probably have a, a link to all the uh to all the current rules that are in place for food vendors here. But basically the gist is that in order for a food vendor to operate, first he must have a food vendor's license. Now to get that, he, is, he or she is supposed to take an examination. They pass that examination, they qualify to get their, li their license. Done. Second, they must have a proper operating cart either rented by the city or their own and it has to be inspected so that so that they can get a mobile food food sticker vendors license basically the sticker is basically so that the cart is shown that it has been certified and that it is legal to use now the stickers are scarce because because there's not too many that are available so the stickers are always done by lottery but you know once you get the sticker that's your sticker until you decide to retire or you die or whatever now after that you're able to operate but you must follow guidelines such as if when you're working with food, you must use gloves, especially on the hands that you're going to use to touch the food so that you don't spread any type of germs from your hand onto the food like a hot dog or sausage. Second, the next protocol is that is that you must have some type of way of cleaning your hands present now this could be anything from like wipes baby wipes uh, uh, hand sanitizers a little sink to wash your hands any of that is acceptable now the third thing is that you must store all of your contents in proper temperatures like for instance, the meats, 
that are that you see people use you know like for hot dogs gyros all that you have to have those meats stored at a proper temperature I'm not sure of the temperature uh, it'll probably be in the link that I'll provide if I can ever find it that is <laughs> Excuse me, to to avoid any type of contamination of the meat. Same goes for sodas and drinks. They should be stored at proper temperature. Now another protocol is that you cannot have any type of outside storage. That basically means you can't bring your bring any sodas or any of your the stuff that you're going to bring with you like in a cooler because that's considered an external storage that is not allowed and then another one which is overlooked a lot is that they must have either a hairnet or a hat on at all times to avoid their hair falling onto the food and then Finally, finally, the cart cannot be no bigger than 8 feet wide and 10 feet tall. Or at least I believe that's the limitation here in New York. Anywhere else, I am not too sure. So I am sorry for anyone in the other states. I, I, I am not 100%. Basically, a lot. There have been a lot of illegal cards because they have not been following these protocols. And many of them because either the cards are have not been inspected and do not have the sticker, or. and or. these vendors are not licensed. Now, in all honesty, I would not have too much of a problem with an unlicensed food cart vendor, but then many of them, for some reason, are nasty. Nasty. Like, they don't clean their hands, they touch the food, and then touch, like, other parts of themselves, they touch their phone, touch you know, probably... Touch the one time I've seen someone touch their balls and wa try to wash their feet but not wash their hands and work with food. That was disgusting. Let's be honest. And not to discriminate in any way, but a lot of them seem to be of the Arabic kind. And this is becoming an epidemic, especially since for some reason these guys are able to keep operating yet for some reason even even when an inspector comes around and shuts them down somehow they're back up and running and doesn't seem like any consequence happens because an inspector is supposed to come around every now and then to inspect all of these if he finds something illegal he has the right as the inspector to shut them down and if the cart's illegal to even take the cart trash it with sanitation's help and trash the cart once and for all and a lot of these carts are still operating as of today illegally and it doesn't seem like anything's being done now I'm starting to believe that that is probably because that a lot of these guys ended up paying off some of these inspectors so that they could be left alone. Now, to me, that pisses me off because there are a couple of food vendors, some that I do know personally, who follow the rules through and through, no problems, maybe have one minor violation every now every now and then for something they forgot but other than that they follow the rules they're clean they they don't cross contaminate the food with anything they don't put 
hot dog with the sodas and all that. No. No cross contamination. Clean. Food tastes great. You know where it's been. And all that. Yeah, they seem to get harassed a little more than the guys who are illegal. In pretty much every way. So to me, that kind of pisses me off. Because that kind of takes away from all those people who are hardworking people who want to follow the rules. And just because they make maybe one slip up once in a while. Like maybe just forgot to reload their wipes or they just need to rebuy some hand sanitizer. That... They end up getting a ticket for that, which they should get because, you know, it's a slip up. But yet, these other people, no tickets. They just get shut down, no tickets. They don't pay anything. And then they they just keep operating. Like nothing happened. And I know it sounds like it's a rant, but seriously. Would you like it if someone took over your job, did a shitty job, and was able to keep their job while you did your job perfectly and you end up getting laid off later even though you were a perfect worker? Doesn't seem right. Now here's where I throw it over to you America. I want your view on the topic that I just discussed. What do you think? Do you think I'm right for being angry? Do you think maybe I should maybe cut a little slack? I mean it's up to you America. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And also like this video if you like the if you liked what I talked about here in this video and also subscribe because I do plan on doing more of these in the future when I'm not entirely sure but I will keep you posted on the next on the next one that comes up so as always I'm Erwisilla have a great day and I will see you next time